literally is collapsing like a silicone implant. Oh! How much was this? This, this, this motherfucker. I'm waiting to be scammed, you know. I'm like waiting for a scam to arrive. Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, I hope you are doing well. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've actually sat down on my own in this like normal location um, for a good while. I feel like I've been kind of here and kind of not there. I've been moving, dealing with a lot of things which I will get into I think at another point in time. But today I got some goodies from a website that I've been wanting to visit for a really long time. But I've been in two minds because I feel like I'm the kind of guy, I can't really rep for this. I can't really rep for this. I consider myself to be a quote unquote fashion girl or like a fashion lover and I love the world of designers and runway and you know fashion but your girl still likes a bargain you know who doesn't like a bargain I like a bargain and part of me is like oh this is just so so wrong so wrong but also so right and this website a lot of people in my real life have been like I'm like oh I like your bag and like it's I've got good friends. I've got good friends. You know the good people who would tell you when they got something, you know, it's slightly fake or it was slightly cheap or it was a bargain. Those friends. I don't respect or trust the girl who won't tell you where they got an item of clothing from. I don't trust you. So this website in my real life and online people have been telling me to go to. And this website is called I Offer. Listen, I Offer is basically this big, big website similar to a wish. Um, where there are different buyers, different sellers on there who make all kinds of items and sell all kinds of items. And what they are known for is being able to create and sell designer dupes. Now, designer dupes, I swear they're like illegal. I don't even know if designer dupes are illegal. So please like HMRC or like the government, police, please don't come and kill me. I'm sorry. You know when you like go on holiday and you're on the beach and someone's like, you want a handbag and some sunglasses? You know there's that dodgy person who comes up to you that like, talking real fast, you want some glasses, you want some sunglasses, I got it, oh, I got Louis Vuitton, I got Gucci, I got this, they got, they got all of it on eye offer. So I decided to basically buy some items, but I actually own the real items as well as part of my actual designer goodie collection. So I can actually compare the two, like the real thing versus the I offer. So today we are going to unbox what I find and see if it matches up to it. First things first, let's talk about shopping on I offer. I offer is a basically a huge website. It's like a lot of these websites that you've seen, there's just reams and reams and reams of stuff. So the number one thing I've been told is, listen, you must read all of the recommendations. There are recommended sellers. I actually had a friend send me a couple of links because she's purchased some goodies like Gucci trainers and stuff like that. Fake Gucci trainers and stuff like that. I'm not trying to out her or anything. She knows. She sent me the link. She's like, this guy does the best fakes. And by the way, it takes forever. I think my items eventually ended up taking about eight weeks. I got items from different sellers. There are a plethora of items, some that look completely like this. It is so fake. The G is backwards. Why is the G backwards? Why is it saying CG, not GG, like doing too much? I think I've talked about the website enough. Let's start unboxing. This is the first item. The thing is, I don't even know what, what what's in what because it's just it doesn't say anything and it just says taiwan on the front or beijing oh okay <laughs> um this is this bag okay this appears to be a version of my louis vuitton victoria and now i paid 26 pounds for this copy mm. i mean what what do we think of that it looks struggle it looks really struggle because the brown is almost like a dirty black brown i mean i actually feel like they've got the monogram right but the color is quite wrong let's just compare it to my real thing people this is my actual louis v victoria so the real versus the fake was i scammed on camera they look very very similar like I'm not gonna lie very very similar however like this is a lot more structured 
This one is like doing struggle fold on the side. It literally is collapsing like a silicone implant. Like it's actually struggling intensely. And obviously the um, straps themselves are quite different. I'm not gonna lie, when, when I touch and feel my actual one, this one feels like poverty next to it. It feels like struggle life. It feels like broken dreams and just failure. Let's see the inside of this. It looks like blood red on the inside. Look at the red on the inside. Oh gosh, it's it, it's bright. Can you see that? Like, you can see where they've broken and cut the leather. It's not actually real leather, people. And you can see where it's been glued here. Now, this is my Louis Vuitton Victoria. This was 1,700, if not 1,800. It is obviously a suede on the inside. We've got a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here. And it says Louis Vuitton Paris in it. Oh, and there's some eyelashes in here. <laughs> listen, how's their eyelashes at the, listen. This is how your, listen. This is how your girl just has, these are good eye, pair of eyelashes. They're gonna stick around, honey. For a 26 pound fake, I thought it could have been a lot worse. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. It isn't actually awful, but as a functional bag, maybe maybe would you would you not right what do we have here this was like clothing oh this one looks kind of fancy it's got a duffel bag and everything oh we're duffel bagging it listen listen look at this listen this is when they take their fake seriously they're taking the fake seriously how are we going to create a, duff a duffel with a handle it's got a handle oh oh Oh, <laughs> okay, and this was 48 pounds, and it's actually quite heavy. Oh, <laughs> this is, this is a, this to me is an A for effort, not like the real thing. I have the cream version. So this is my actual one. This is the YSL, this is the Sunset bag. This is 1,540 pounds. And this copy, I feel like it's almost a mix between the Kate and the Sunset. So it's not actually in the actual style, but the gloss on it is right. The emblem is like a, a metal. This is way more shiny. Hold on, let's just compare. A for effort. If you were just looking for something that looked like it was a designer, this bag definitely does that. It's not, it's doesn't, it isn't exactly like the Sunset or exactly like the cake, but you know, they tried, they tried. You know, the inside, the way that the Saint Laurent is like sitting, it's just doing hi, it's doing hello. And it's kind of, <laughs> there's like a Saint Laurent tag on the inside. We've got this Saint Laurent here. It, it's just doing, it's really doing the most, just to let you know, it could be the real thing. I feel like with all these like, I don't mind the bag, just take off the emblem. Just keep the bag, take off the emblem. I'm waiting to be scammed, you know. I'm like waiting for a scam to arrive. They wrap these up so tightly. What's this? What? Why is there a dollar sign? What is this? Thank you, two dollars. I mean, it's not really a two dollar, but yeah. Oh! How much was this? Wow, wow, wow! This is a copy of the Chanel boy bag. And this was 20 pounds, 25. They're taking the mick. They're actually taking the mick. They actually, for, tw for 20 pounds, they actually are taking the mick. You're taking the mickey. It shouldn't be allowed, it should be illegal. It's actually rude. This is, an extremely good copy. From a weight perspective, it almost weighs the same amount, almost. Because these bags are quite heavy. By the way, I've had my Chanel boy bag for almost four years. This is one of my most expensive purchases, but it's one of my favorite, favorite bags of all time, right? Whoever these guys are, who are you? Who are, you're rude? Good bag five five, good bag five five, wow. You went to actually come and make a mockery of the Chanel bag. Um, look at this. Like, look at this. Like, come on. They took the mick. 
unbelievable which one's the real one obviously this has got like a, a really grainy texture doesn't scratch love this yeah i have to actually call it a mother because it's so rude every detail right chanel here chanel there we've got a little foam insert <laughs> authentication actual authentication card can we just take a look at this how are you gonna authenticate a fake how are you gonna authenticate a fake real authentic fake L listen made in france no made in china made in china you're taking the mic come on and um, the inside of it is this kind of red faux leather thing it's huge the inside of mine is more like this like rich like burgundy here these fakes are good. These aren't like the struggle fakes that you pick up. And you know, normally you buy those struggle fakes. I never, I never bought, I mean, I, I bought a struggle fake. I'm not gonna lie, I have. I did it in my young broke days. I did it. Hmm, interesting. Here we go. Right, let's let's find the fake Gucci. They eat, wow, they even got a box. Oh, okay, this, a little Gucci belt, a little GG belt number. How much was this? This Gucci belt was, 37 pounds what the hell how do you wear this belt this isn't going around anybody it's huge it's massive the sizing is particularly off does this look quite similar to my gucci belt yes i don't have the exact one but i've got a similar one so here's the gucci belt i actually have which is real real heavy despite the size differences fundamentally they could be cousins it's not a great fake but it isn't an awful fake Real Gucci belt versus the fake Gucci belt. Let's take off the plastic. Also, nothing you buy on the aisle for website is refundable or exchangeable. Listen, exercise caution. Yeah, I mean, without the plastic, actually, it looks quite different. Very, very different material, obviously. They've given you a fake Gucci bag inside the box. Fake Gucci bag in the box. Little card carrier and another authentication card. Good you gang, good you gang, good you gang, good you gang. Nah, nah, this is a really bad fake. This was 110 pounds. Okay, right, I'm noticing the difference in the fakes. So, the other fakes that were 40 pounds, 50 pounds, are like not even trying to be in the same material as the original. They're just trying to look like the original from the outside. They're not trying to convince you it's the real thing. But I think these ones are a little bit more pricey and are trying to be similar to the real thing. This is the, um, what was this bag called? The Gucci Dianzaurus or Dia something or the other, I can't remember. I'll, I'll write the name of it. But this is wrong. This isn't the right shape. This is square. That the original wasn't square like this. They tried though, they really tried. This is some kind of PVC plastic on the outside. Like, look at that. This is one PVC plastico. Plastico! Go plastico on the back. So basically, what you spend on eye off, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get the right fake. So I think this is my final one. This is the bag that my friend had that really was like, hold on. Really? I was like, girl, you got the same bag as me. She was like, no, mine's a fake. <laughs> I'm like, wow, this is this is the one that triggered it all. So this looks really, really nice. This looks a really, really nice colour. It's really shiny, really, really velvety. It's very, 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 very similar to the real one. Other than this is quite a bit brighter. This is really bright and like you need a glasses to wear these. But here's my real one. Here is my real one which is longer, wider, a little bit more used, and a bit, a little bit more plush. Actually, when you put them side to side, they don't actually look that similar. Definitely a fake scam. This was 126 pounds. Why is it that the more expensive ones are not as close to the, like, the um, original? Would I be able to know this is a fake? Yes, I would, bearing in mind that I had the real one. And this definitely is giving me just doing too much it's too shiny it's too polished it's just whoa gucci i actually feel like this wears nice i feel like this is going to make a really nice vintage i was thinking of selling it actually but no i feel like this is a nice one to just keep in your closet or your collection um this i mean 126 pounds 
it's a fake it's only a fake but they tried they tried so that is a wrap from the goodies that i got from i offer um my final thoughts is this really life in 2018 wow you are able to buy the fakes online wow you can be like i like this bag go onto some website it, the bag was three thousand pounds go and get it for 25 pounds i actually <laughs> my brain actually can't fathom doing this and i think there's there's two sides to it there's this side of like listen i love that style i've seen it for cheaper you know why not and then what if you spend your money and then you are scammed completely out of it there's there's you know the great it's a bargain and great it could be a scam and then from the designer's perspective they put all this time and all this effort and all this heart and all this soul into the ideas i am not I i'm not down for fakes in all honesty but you know i'm not a hater when it comes to dupes i love a dupe like if you can you know tweak something and dupe something go ahead let's not just not try and convince people that the bag is right it's, it's doing too much like a lot of the bags i'm like they'd be cute if they actually didn't have the logos on the front of them like this i think that this would be a great bag take this off i would wear this i would think this is great anyway guys that is it from me what do you guys think are you a dupe girl or a fake girl are you a proud fake wearer or are you like keep it on the low low let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and all that jazz and in the meantime i will catch you real soon bye